Hey everyone, welcome to Popular Cruising. I'm your host Jason Leppert, here to showcase exactly what differs between Norwegian Cruise Lines and Norwegian Prima and Norwegian Viva. They're architecturally identical, but the whole art geometry varies some, and Prima's colors skew more blue, while Viva's favor purple. Similarly, the wave inner tube water slide matches Prima's bluer tones. Meanwhile, Viva's equivalent slide is purpler. Also looking at the dry slides, Prima's set of the Rush Racers pair blue and a lighter sky blue, and those on Viva are a comparable but more vibrant blue as well as purple. And the sky blue on the drop aboard Prima has given way to a teal variety on Viva. Interiors though differ a bit more as in balcony staterooms, where on Prima the wall art features iconic symbols and on Viva, highlights abstract, drippy watercolors. Also subtle on the Mandarus Spa aboard Prima, the saltwater pool is an open expanse. While on Viva, dividers have been added to somewhat segment the therapeutic water, providing additional corners to nestle in. The indulged food hall on Prima has a secondary Starbucks location, as well as its Airstream across from another food truck. But on Viva, the Airstream has been displaced to free up more seating and reassigned to tapas where the underutilized coffee spot was previously, and Viva has a new ice cream station to boot. Also dining-wise, the local bar and grill on Prima has a foosball table in between the bar and restaurant sides. But on Viva, the Nook has classic arcade games instead. Speaking of games, Galaxy Pavilion on Prima has its share of virtual reality experiences, racers, and more. And Viva has rearranged a similar assortment that also offers a new gyro space mission. Or in actual reality, the Prima Speedway offers standing room only to observe the racing go-karts. Whereas at the Viva Speedway, stools have been added for spectators. The Prima Theater and Club has a kinetic chandelier in the ceiling, but notice it's bare center, as well as stages summer that on a summer musical. But alternatively on Viva, the chandelier has a brand new LED centerpiece, and Beatles used the musical as the signature stage show. The art collection varies as well. For example, on Prima, the Metropolitan Bar has a static wall facing it. And on Viva, there's an expansive interactive digital tapestry, as seen here, demonstrated by the artist behind the fun butterfly piece. And lastly, for fans of Vauve Clicquot, there's a Magnum bottle on a pedestal aboard Prima as part of a christening display which is missing on Viva, but may soon be installed once the latest ship is also officially named. In the meantime, when you're ready to book, we recommend Fairy Godmother Travel. To get your complimentary quote, click on the link right here, or call the phone number or message the email address below. Thanks so much for watching. If you would, as it really does help support us, please like this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel while hitting that bell icon to be notified of new videos, watch our other ones, and visit popularcruising.com.